In this video, we will talk about the normal, anatomical constrictions of the esophagus. These include, cervical constriction, thoracic constriction, diaphragmatic constriction. What is an esophagus? The esophagus is a muscular tube, approximately 25 centimeters long, that connects the pharynx to the stomach. Function of esophagus. It facilitates the passage of food and liquids through peristalsis. What is the clinical relevance of anatomical constrictions of esophagus? Anatomical constrictions are critical landmarks for endoscopic procedures and diagnosing swallowing disorders. Now, let's learn about the anatomical constrictions of the esophagus. There are three main constrictions along the esophagus. Cervical constriction, thoracic constriction, diaphragmatic constriction. We will discuss them one by one. Number 1. Cervical constriction. It is located at the level of C6 vertebra, where the esophagus begins. Cause. It is formed by the cricopharyngeus muscle, upper esophageal sphincter. Clinical note. It is the common site for swallowed foreign bodies to lodge. Number 2. Thoracic constriction. It is located at the level of T4 to T5 vertebrae, near the arch of the aorta. Cause. It is caused by compression by the aorta carch anteriorly, the left main bronchus posteriorly. Clinical note. It is associated with difficulty swallowing, dysphagia, in certain conditions. Number 3. Diaphragmatic constriction of esophagus. It is located at the level of T10 vertebra, where the esophagus passes through the diaphragm. Cause. It is encircled by the esophageal hiatus of the diaphragm. Clinical note. It is a common site for hiatal hernia and gastroesophageal reflux disease. 